In this video I will show you all of the April Fools updates. The first April Fools joke was in Minecraft 1.4 beta, where you could find random chests around your world. Opening one of these chests will display this, which is a reference to Team Fortress 2's Man CO supply crates. Clicking go to store will take you to a store where you can buy items. Clicking proceed to checkout will cause a Jurassic Park dinosaur to appear and slide across the screen. Trying to buy $10,000 worth of items will ask you if you are prone to seizures. Clicking OK will make the site start flashing random colors. This is what the store looked like after the update. The second update is called Minecraft 2.0. This update adds coal blocks, which weren't in the game at that time but were added later. There is a new TNT slab called an Ethos Lab, which is a reference to the YouTuber Ethos Lab. When you ignite it, it will drop an anvil on your head. There is a new option called Super HD Graphics, which changes all the textures to monochrome textures. Chickens now attack you if you look at them and they have a chance to spawn reinforcements when you hit them. Droppers have been renamed to floppers. Any item dropped by floppers turn into cod. Every 2 to 5 minutes this happens. This is called super hostile mode, and is super annoying when you are trying to make a video. They added tinted glass which wasn't in the game at the time like coal blocks, but were added in a later update. Horses were added with two variants and are actually just retextures of pigs and cows. But sadly you can't ride them. Feeding cows pigs or sheep too much will make them explode. Feeding sheep a golden apple will make them float. There is a new wither that is pink. You summon it by placing pink wool with a potted rose on top. This wither will follow you if you hold sugar and feeding it grows more heads. It has less health but still drops another star. Wither skulls fired by this wither bone meal the ground, when redstone is activated, it has a chance to spawn redstone bugs. Redstone bugs are retextures of silver fish. Torches now burn out, but can be relit with a flint and steel. There is a new type of chicken, that drops diamonds and lapis. Furnaces can now overheat, they will start to smoke until they explode. The third April Fool's update is called the Love and Hugs update. In this update you can't hurt mobs, and your health bar has been replaced with a heart bar. Punching mobs gives you more hearts. You can't die. Snow spawns randomly around the world. All particles have been changed to hearts. Creepers now have a smile, and when they blow up they drop flowers that can't be picked up. Bows don't use arrows anymore and shooting two of the same mob will make them breed. Being hit by a magma cube or slime gives you the happiness effect which makes you jump super high. After you get 8 lines of hearts, a game called Mines Creeper will pop up. Like Mine Sweeper, right clicking places a flag and clicking a square reveals it. If a creeper is revealed, you lose the game and have to start over. There is also a cheat code, typing X. Y, Z, Z, Y, Shift, Enter, Enter, will make a square pop up in the top left of your screen. The square will tell you what the square you're mousing over is. If it is black, then there is a creeper there. If it is white, there is no creeper. Beating the game will play the Minecraft credits. All banners have hearts on them, even the red banner. With theirs spawned are pink like in Minecraft 2.0 but are spawned like normal withers. Boats now have holes in them, when you ride one it sinks and rises when you get out. There is also a new obsidian boat that sinks instantly. There are two new potions. The potion of sharing makes mobs drop random items. And the potion of carrying makes mobs hit by it follow other mobs. Dungeons are now homes, and now have furnaces and crafting tables. All clouds are now random sized hearts. All the options in video settings are blank. Squids can now fly. Lava has been renamed to cheese, and magma cubes have been renamed to cheese cubes. Iron golems are now love golems, and pigs can now climb walls. The 4th April Fools update is called the trendy update. This update adds USB charger blocks that act like redstone blocks 
and there are now reality vision goggles. Wearing them puts a 3D map of the world on your screen. This is how it looks in third person. And there are now smarter watches that track how much you have jumped, your damage dealt, and a lot more. Signs now look different, and looking at signs with reality vision goggles on says obey, and any text written on the sign displays above it. Mobs can now wear reality vision goggles. The last item added is called an ankle monitor. Wearing an ankle monitor in different dimensions will give you messages. The next April Fool's update is called Minecraft 3D. This is what it looks like when you start up the game. On the title screen there is 3D text. Clicking on the bottom button says blip blop and then no in Swedish. Clicking on select episode will bring you to this screen. All but one option is locked. Selecting it brings you here. Where you get to select the difficulty. The first is peaceful. Then easy, normal, and hard. The one on the bottom is hard but you will start to continuously take damage. When you enter the game it will ask you to buy the game. Clicking open registration form will open a text document with a ton of stuff you can buy. Everything looks different, and all sounds have been changed to sound 8-bit. There are barrels everywhere with keys and stuff like potions and armor in them. Closing the barrel with items still in will endlessly play the barrel closing sound. And there are now several cheat codes, typing cows cows cows, will say there is no secret cow level but obfuscated in chat. Typing nerd with 4 E's will summon a nerd creeper, killing the nerd creeper will drop the 3D item, eating it will show an image of the Mojang team. Power overwhelming, will make it where mobs can't see you. Pigs on the wing, will allow you to fly. Flash with 5 A's will give you jump boost speed and pace. How do you turn this on? will spawn a super fast horse. More DACA gives you equipment, and a crossbow with multi-shot 12. IDKFA gives you all the keys. You can also adjust the screen size with F7 and F8. Holding down B displays this. Clicking give feedback in the options will ask you to send a postcard. Quitting the game says thank you for playing Minecraft 3D. Pressing any button closes the game. The next April Fool's update is called the Ultimate Content Update. This update adds infinite dimensions. To go to a dimension you have to write text in a book and throw it into a nether portal. All dimensions are randomly generated, except easter egg dimensions. There is a new warp command, that allows you to teleport to the new dimensions. There are four new blocks which can be found in some dimensions, the first one is called an ant block. And it can only be placed using the set block command, if it is placed on black or white concrete, it will move around, changing the block beneath it. And after a while, it will start to do this. The next block is a new type of stair made out of netherite, and it's called the swaggiest stairs ever. The third new block is called a zone block and can only be placed using the set block command. This block is invisible but has green particles. Mobs can walk through it. When you walk on it you will get poison and blindness. Throwing items into it will make them fall to the ground instantly. The next block is called a box of infinite books. Its color is different depending on where you place it. Right clicking this block will give you a book, which has random letters inside. The last new block is called a cursor block. This block changes from black concrete to green. There are two new items, the footprint item and an item called a very fine item. Its texture says home sweet home. Both these items do nothing. Here are some of the easter egg dimensions. The first one is darkness. This dimension makes a circle of darkness around you. The next dimension is content. This dimension is a sky block island with a chest of weird items. The isolation dimension has a house with a sign that says no advertising please in Swedish, inside the house is Bob, and Bob's dog, Bob's other dog, and their cousin Jim, downstairs there are chests and boxes of infinite books, there is also a hidden chest in the wall, with a sword called Stabby McStab face. 
Upstairs there is a bed. Above the bed is a very fine item. Brand is a dimension with creeper faces made out of random dyed blocks. The dimension colors is the four Microsoft colors. Gallery has random blocks that spiral upwards. The dimension notes has node blocks that play random node block sounds. Sky grid has random floating blocks everywhere. Terminal has green blocks that look like a DOS terminal. There is also a new block in this dimension, called a cursor block. The dimension ant has a new block called an ant block, and a sign that says patience. The ant block moves around changing white concrete to black concrete, and the missing dimension which has netherite stairs, and in the chest there is the footprint item. When fishing you have a chance to fish out stuff like boats, fish, and squids. The next update is called one block at a time. When you start the game you will see the Mojang logo with a crewmate from Among Us on it, and it will play this sound. Mojang. Studios. In this update, breaking a block puts it into your hand, and you can throw blocks. Punching a mob will pick it up, and you can throw it. Items are now in block form, and you can pick them up. You can also throw blocks onto your head. Taking damage throws the block off your head. Endermen now hold random items, and looking at one will give you the block they are holding and will play the old hurt sound. Holding an Enderman will randomly teleport you. You can stack as many mobs as you want on your head. Holding a skeleton will shoot arrows where you are looking. And when you throw them they will still be stacked. You can now ride the Ender Dragon, which you can control by looking where you want to go. If you fly into the void, then you will be put in the overworld at the build limit. You can now mine bedrock but it takes about 10 minutes. Activating a dispenser will launch the block in front of it. Throwing gravel next to grass will light the grass on fire. Throwing any ore into lava will smelt it. When you throw seagrass it will place water. Throwing a pumpkin next to a cactus will carve the pumpkin. This is what the bottom of a minecart looks like. To craft items you have to place a 3x3 square of crafting tables and throw items onto them. When you wear a barrel and crouch, mobs can't see you. Just don't go too close. Picking up a bee will make you float. Holding a spider will allow you to climb walls. Iron golems spawned with the name Billy Ball Long will have their arms in the air like they just don't care. Pigs held are upside down, and you will fly two blocks above you. Villager trading is different, you have to hold emerald ore and you have to right click the villager to trade. Villagers now trade mobs. Naming a tamed dog Mars will give it a different texture. Holding a lot of undernmen will teleport you around really fast. And that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, then please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel.